Welcome to the Data Janitor. I'm Mike West, and thanks for joining me. Data professionals do not use Excel in the real world. Excel is a tool used by business analysts and financial analysts. This one trips up newcomers to data roles. What is Microsoft Excel? Excel is a software program created by Microsoft that uses spreadsheets to organize numbers and data with formulas and functions. As a data professional, you do not need to know how to use anything other than the most basic Excel functions. I do not, nor have I ever used Excel in my 30-year career, and I've worked in machine learning, data analysis, BI, data engineering, and I was a DBA for 20 years. Here's where the confusion might be happening. Smaller data sets are often moved around companies with CSV files. A CSV file is a comma-separated values document. It's not an Excel file. They have different structures. A CSV file is a plain text format file with a series of values separated by commas, where Excel is a binary file that holds information about worksheets in a workbook. If you receive data from Excel and it needs to be imported into another data store, I often convert that Excel to CSV documents. As a data professional, you will work with CSV files all the time. Therefore, it's important you know the difference between a CSV file and an Excel document. Here's an example. When you're learning machine learning, all the files you're going to use for modeling will be in CSV format. The CSV file is the gold standard for working with smallish data sets. All my machine learning courses with data examples use CSV files. When I create a query to pull my data together from modeling from a relational database, I export the rows I need to a CSV file so I can easily import and work with them in my notebook. One of the most used functions in all of machine learning is a panda read CSV function. It's one of the most used functions because in machine learning, models are built on data, and data is often housed in these CSV files. Now you might be thinking, why not just connect directly to a data store like a SQL Server and pull your data from there? Because that's a bad practice and it puts pressure on the database. If the company you're working for has a competent DBA, he or she is going to kill connections that you create and then tell your supervisor you're contributing to the slowness in a production box. That never ends well. There are two easy ways around this. Connect to a dev or test box or better yet, export a subset of the data you need. For example, a few thousand rows is all you need for cleaning and testing out your model. Once that code is finalized, then you can run it against a larger data set and connect to a dev or test box to run it there. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day. We'll see you soon.